friends. I have my tea here to sip on while we talk about a little life updates, what's new in my life, what's different, because a lot of things have changed. But most importantly, I want to talk about one thing specific. I changed my major. Oh, by the way, jasmine tea with a splash of almond milk is delicious, would definitely recommend. Moving on, yes, it's true. I, Naomi, have changed my major. Who would have seen it coming? I changed my major from pre-med biology to studio art. So, here's how it all went down, because this happened a while ago, and this is something that I thought I should update you guys on, because I've talked about school a lot in a video before. I told you guys that I was a biology major. Um, I originally started off as pre-med biology, so it's kind of gone full circle now. So, let's start at the beginning. I, a clueless high schooler, did not know how the world worked. All I knew is that once I graduated, I had to go to college. And I had to pick something to study, to do for the rest of my life. Me being me, I procrastinated, I deliberated, I really thought about what I wanted to do, pros and cons lists, researching, all of that. I did it all. And then when the time came, I went on a whim and just made an impulsive decision to do pre-med biology. Why, you may ask? Why did I do that? Well, because I was stressed. I wanted to do something that was easy. And don't get me wrong, I'm not saying biology is easy in that way, but it's very black and white. You know, it's very cookie cutter. You know exactly what to do. Pretty much your whole path is laid out for you. Step one, two, and three, it's like, there's like, there's pretty much a guide to it. You can't really go wrong with it. There is a huge, huge job market out there for biology majors. You're gonna get a job. You're gonna make money, that's just a given. And that's what I wanted. I was too scared to take a risk. I was insecure in my own artistic ability. I was insecure in any of my abilities, really, to rely on anything that required my talent to be successful in. And I wanted to do something easy that all I would have to do was study, get the grades, and move along as I had been doing all my life. Just a little background on me. I took art all of high school. I even did AP Studio Arts my senior year and I got a five on my portfolio. Yay me. And not to toot my own horn, but I'm pretty good. I'm a pretty good artist and it's what I love doing, but I was always so insecure and I thought, oh, I'm never gonna be the best. I'm never gonna be good enough. My art isn't something that people are gonna want to see that it's not gonna be something that I'm gonna be able to profit off and live off of as a career. I'm just not gonna be able to do that. And people always asked me if I would pursue art as a career. And because of my own insecurities in myself and because I felt like it was something that was out of reach. It just wasn't for me. It was out of the question. I began to resent it. And it was like I began to hate art because I couldn't do it. I began to hate art because there were other people that would major in it and the other people that were artists and living off of it. And I wasn't doing that. So I began to hate it. So when I got into Georgia State, I said, okay, I'm doing biology and I'm slapping a pre-med at the front of that and we're good to go. It wasn't until... My dog is barking, I don't know if you can hear that, but it's really annoying. He's been really whiny lately. I don't know if... Is he anxious? So then my second semester of freshman year comes along the classes started to get more challenging, but just like with anything, you work harder, you pass your classes, you're doing fine. My memory card was full, so I had to delete some clips, so now we're back. We're back in action. Anyways, um, oh. Mm. So, first semester sophomore year starts, and I'm taking five classes. That's when I realized, how do I say this? This is when the classes started to get 
much more difficult. Not impossible, but it was taking all of my free time. It wasn't even assignments to turn in. It literally was just supplemental stuff to understand the concepts. I have been working, I've had a job this whole past semester, and I was studying so much on the job, outside of the job, like, my boyfriend knows I, I could barely spend time with him. It was so annoying, like, how much time and effort I had to put into it, only to then take my exams, get the grades, and then not feel, like, satisfied with myself. You know, I didn't, I didn't feel like I was working for anything anymore. It just kind of felt like, what am I doing? I had classes with these people that were so passionate about chemistry and biology and getting to med school. And every time they killed themselves studying to get like B's, A minuses, and they were like, they were walking on clouds all day, getting their grades and everything. For me, it just kind of, it just, it just kind of felt ridiculous, you know? Like, what am I doing? Like, I'm not passionate about it the way these other students are. I can perfectly envision myself doing anything else other than something related to biology compared to these kids that they can't imagine what their lives would be like if they don't fulfill these career goals they had. Like, it actually was their whole life and they were happy to turn in every single second they had to their majors. It just wasn't fulfilling to me enough. I would do it, I would get the grades, and that was it. I didn't feel proud of myself, I didn't feel like I was working towards anything anymore. And then I had to really like stop and think, like, why did I even pick biology to begin with? I think it was just because how heavily praised STEM is in our current education that I felt that to continue proving myself and be worthy and prove that yes I am smart like I've taken AP classes and gifted classes all my life but it can't stop here I have to do something with it because I'm a gifted kid you know like it's kind of like the gifted kid syndrome I just kind of felt pressured like if I wasn't doing something of that nature then I was disappointing someone even though I don't know who I would be disappointing but it just kind of felt that way so then that's when I was just like I no, can't do this it was right before the midterm and the last day to withdraw was coming up so I called my mom in tears I was like mom I'm changing my major I can't do this like it isn't what I want to do I'm not passionate about it you know she's being really supportive but then she asked me so what are you gonna change your major to and I was, I was thinking about like, oh, maybe like psychology, forensic, whatever. I, I had like looked into a couple of majors. And I was like, oh, this looks cool. Maybe this. I'm good at psychology. I'm good at this. But then my mom was like, why are you still playing it safe? Why are you so scared to take a risk? You have to take a risk because if you just pick another major that you're good at academically you've gotten the grades before but does it fulfill you like is it what you're passionate about do you love doing it so then i realized she was right and it was really scary because art me studying art in university trying to do it as a career me that was just insane to me um it was something i've been afraid of just because of the i guess because of the stigma around studying anything that's fine art the whole starving artist theme she told me to think about it she said really think about it before you make the switch i was like okay you gotta think about it i talked to my boyfriend about it he was really supportive he knew how much i liked doing art but he knew it was something that i was I had really mixed feelings about. It was like this frustration I had. I liked doing it one day and the next day it's like I never want to pick up an I never want to pick up a colored pencil again. Like all of that came from these repressed feelings of it not being good enough or being insecure. Everyone in my life, like my family, my boyfriend, they all really supported my decision. It made me feel more secure. It really gave me the extra little push I needed to finally finally accept that art is what I wanted to do with my life. It's what I've always done. Being an artist was what I used to say I wanted to be as a little kid before I had a concept of what money was, of what finding a job was, before I knew how the real world worked. Like that was my dream. To now actually finally feeling like I'm doing something that would have made six-year-old me proud is 
it just it's a feeling like nothing else and I I'm so excited for the classes that I'm gonna take and I actually want to give it my all and I actually want to put all of my time into it and it actually feels like I'm working towards something that's worthwhile. I recently got an email from one of my 2D studio professors and I've never been more happy to get an art supply list. I just know that I'm making the right decision this time. So yeah, I just wanted to hop on here, give you guys a quick little life update so that will be all for today. If you want to follow my journey as an art student attending Georgia State University, then subscribe. I will post more videos because my work and my study will all be creative. Then I won't have to shut off my creative side every semester. If you look at the way I post my videos, I post during breaks. And once the semester starts, I just shut down. You don't see me on YouTube at all. and. I think it was just because I felt like I had to shut down the creative side, turn on the academic side. Now I'm more confident that I will be posting more videos. I will not ghost you guys during the semester. Won't let it happen again. Thank you guys for watching and see you guys soon.